hey everybody welcome back to a third video in like 20 minutes <laughs> my bad guys i just want to cover everything individually and make sure that we get the best coverage for each video guys we are in a warped forest and my goodness this is just the coolest thing man we have waited quite a long time for nether biomes and as i look at this i am giddy and i'm not i don't get giddy about minecraft anymore guys it's been quite a long time uh that i have been this excited for really anything in the game uh maybe the aquatic update but this biome is the warped forest and it comes with a lot of goodies we have the warped nylum which is kind of the same thing as crimson of course we have the two different colored woods so we have the crimson and the warped planks and stems we also have stripped then it comes with warped fungi and the warped roots and the warped work blocks now this is kind of the exact same thing as the crimson it's kind of like the brother biome to the crimson forest and it's just it's outstanding i actually think that i like this one more the grass use is going to have just so much uh usability to it now one thing that i was very very curious about was uh mining this stuff i'm gonna just try my hand real fast and okay so his hand is very very slow let's go back into creative and i'm gonna grab a diamond pick actually fast and a diamond shovel because i feel like it's probably going to be one of those two so first off pickaxe so pickaxe actually mines the block that's very cool now Oh, wow, that breaks with your hand really fast. Let's try pickaxe with that. You know what? Let's try um, let's try an axe as well, just to get a kind of a good feel for this. Uh, that's in creative mode. <laughs> there we go. So it's pretty quick, and I'm assuming it breaks down to the same thing. And these are the stripped parts. Honestly, I think that the stripped logs will probably have more use than anything. But my goodness, guys, this is absolutely beautiful. And I, um, I'm, I'm, I'm at, I, I'm kind of at all because of how tall these are. We don't really ever see anything like this normal generation. I mean, there are some jungle trees and some spruce trees that like are insane looking, but, um, my God, my God, guys, my God. And then, um, on top of that, the one thing that I didn't cover in the last video, we have hoglins and then we have, uh, let me go to spawn eggs here. If we go down, um, so this was, was this the mob? Yes, I've already shown you this one. These guys, they kind of look into your soul a little bit, don't they? I mean, they're, they're, they're a little sketchy, a little sketchy. The two things that I am noticing almost right away uh, in this biome, the contrasting colors are just outstanding. But one thing that I've noticed more than anything is the amount of Endermen spawning here. It almost seems like this has more of a magical effect. I don't wanna say magical, I wanna say more of an end effect. As you can see, the amount of Endermen are just like crazy. I don't see any of the uh, Hoglings or any Pigmen or really anything like that. All I see is Endermen, which makes me think that early game Minecraft may get a little bit easier in terms of getting to the end because of how many of these Endermen are spawning. All right, guys. So I have been looking through the nether now for about 20 minutes and i have yet to find what i am looking for this stuff is super rare so i'm actually looking for something called ancient debris ancient debris is a block added into the nether that allows you to make new tools in the game these tools are stronger than diamond that's right we finally have some new tools and weapons in minecraft that are uh, are pretty strong and i'm i'm assuming that they're very very rare to find because of how tough they actually are so let's go ahead and talk about ancient debris uh, according to the uh the post that they made on the minecraft website when you mine this stuff there is a chance that it can actually hurt you and so this is what it looks like i'm not super impressed with the texture but you know what i'm kind of hard to please in general so it says mine at your own risk which is interesting uh you have to refine it into me uh, netherite scrap and so what you do with that is you just put it in a smelter so let's go back into game mode real fast and i mined it and you know that's like the fourth time that i've mined it and nothing has happened yet so you put it in here and give ourselves some fuel here there we go and put that in there that is going to make the scrap that we need 
So scrap, this is netherite scrap right here. And uh, let's grab, we'll give ourselves quite a bit of that. There we go. So once you have this netherite scrap, you need to use uh, gold with it. So grab some gold. There we go. And that makes netherite ingots. Four of each will give you the ingots that you need. But again, trying to find, you know, what you need with this. So I'm assuming that it's probably, I'm gonna try sticks at first. So we can make the shovel and the ax. There we go. Um, let's take a look at some of these. So a uh, uh, matter of fact, let's actually grab a pickaxe and look at the durability. So diamond pickaxe has attack damage of five and a mining speed of 1.2. This has the same mining speed, but has a, a higher attack damage. That's, that's actually really cool. <laughs> and this comes in uh, uh, forms of sword, shovel, pickaxe, axe, hoe, and then armor as well. So let's grab all this. I want to see if I can, I can make blocks out of it too. There we go. Man, that is so freaking cool. Some of these uh, crafting recipes are interesting though. It doesn't really give you um, very much of a hint as to what you need to craft it. So let's look and see what the crafting recipe. Oh, I see. So you actually need an unenchanted, or I guess, I don't know. I might be able to do enchanting, but uh, let's make the netherite pickaxe there. So I'm actually very curious as to what the durability is. I'm going to take a quick F3 and H and look at the uh, tooltips of this. So let's go ahead and go into game mode and to survival. Mine these blocks up real fast. And so mining speed is pretty much the same thing. So 2031 durability compared to the 1500 that we have of the other pickaxe. So let's mine this. I still want to try to see if this is going to explode or not. Huh, interesting. All right, so what are some of the attributes of these pickaxes and tools? So let's go ahead and talk about some of the attributes that are associated with these netherite tools. So the first thing is, is that these items actually float in lava. So let me get a bucket of lava here. And apparently it's so that you don't, I mean, I wouldn't want to lose these anyways because they're so, so hard to get. But so let's just put it in there and see what happens. No, there it is it's just sitting there. Wow. That's very, very cool. Okay. So as you can see, they don't burn, uh, netherite items have a higher enchantment value than diamond, but not as high as gold. So let's go ahead and grab an enchant table and some bookshelves and just give this a test real quick and kind of see what happens. I don't know if it's going to let me do a level. No, it won't let me do a level 30. Okay. So bookshelves, very, very curious here. Just want to see. See what we can get on this. I wonder if we can get like a fortune, maybe. That would be pretty cool. So put that in there. So efficiency unbreaking. That puts the mining speed. It's pretty much the same thing. Let's try survival. Um, wow, that's pretty cool. It had, okay, so this this is insane, actually. Wow, this is interesting. And a new mining a new mining sound. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool. All right. Um, so they work faster and last longer than diamonds. The weapons do more damage than diamonds. The armor, um, which I'm assuming the armor probably has the same crafting recipe. So like, say if we grab a diamond chest plate, for example, and come over to the table, make another right. I'm glad that it only takes one ingot to find that because it definitely, definitely seems like this stuff is really 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 hard to find like um sometimes when you fly around in spectator mode you should be able to see like different ores sticking out and i have yet to actually see this stuff and so the reason why i went downward is because on the post on the minecraft website it says that the ancient debris um is very rare but it's also in the lower levels of the nether so that could either mean like lava level or below lava uh, I'm sure like, like Psycraft will make a farm for this tomorrow, but <laughs> you know, that's what they do. But I don't really, I don't really, I, st I still haven't seen it. I'm the, I guess the thing that I'm most curious about with the ancient debris is what you find when you do find it, right? Like how many are you going to find at a time? Because everybody wants to know, like, everybody's going to want to make the best tools that they possibly can as soon as they can. But if you are going to have trouble finding two pieces, 
you know you might want to stick with your diamond diamond tried and true but I, st I still haven't seen it so i don't know i am genuinely curious as to what you guys think uh let me know but um guys i think it's gonna do it for the one six videos thank you for the support on all of these and i am genuinely curious uh in the comment section below leave some feedback on what you think about this 1.6 stuff it's very very cool i like it a lot <laughs> i am like a kid in the candy store right now so anyways guys uh enjoy the videos i hope you all have a great day that's i jevin peace out everybody